Namaskar everyone. This is Ramesh. Hope you are all doing great. Today we will be discussing about why mostly the South Indian states are ruled by regional parties. If you look at most of the South Indian states like Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, um, Telangana and all these states primarily ruled by the regional parties. I would like to talk about five main reasons behind this. The first and foremost is language because regional has the regional languages primarily are the main uh, source of communication. Whereas if you take the northern states and all, even though they have their regional languages, but at the same time, everybody can understand Hindi. Not same is not the case in the southern part of India because in the states like Tamil Nadu and all, they don't even know what's Hindi. So it's only a few places like Andhra, Karnataka and all. They may understand, but at the same time, they can speak or understand better in an urban area than in the rural areas. So that's the first and foremost um, reason. If you look at the parties like the Telugu Desam Party uh, in Andhra Pradesh, which was started in 1982 by N.T. Ramarao, the primary reason behind one of the reasons is language only. He would like to have the regional party, which is primarily focusing on Telugu, the backward caste and their uh, uh, welfare and all that stuff. So similarly, the Tamil uh, are very much into their language. They really like their language. They even fight even today that that's the oldest uh, language in the world or something like that. So overall, that's the primary reason why you see the regional parties are in the rule because they can communicate to the people pretty easily what they're planning to say. And then that actually reflects from the people as well. And the second thing is when these parties were all started, Congress was the only alternative. You don't really know what is Bharati Janta Party and you don't know who is Narendra Modi. So that's the main reason where they were looking for alternatives because it's always the case where you need at least two parties to basically choose from. That's what everyone wants. So the only alternative to Congress that time is the Telugu Desam Party in Andhra, and then these DMK parties in Tamil Nadu, so on and so forth in other places. So that's the second most important reason. If we look at the uh, the next reason, uh, the next reason behind uh, uh, this is heroic worship. If you look at uh, southern parts, you can see uh, heroic worship in the people. That either the person may be a film celebrity who is now entered into politics or maybe from a political leader's son or maybe a chief minister's son so people treat them as their next leader by default i mean you don't need a separate qualification or anything they would like to see that person as the next chief minister by default most of the people generally think that if, for example, if you take Narendra Modi as an example, he may be started as um, just a Karikarta in one of the uh, states, then slowly become an MLA, then slowly become a chief minister, be there for 20, 25 years, and then slowly become a parliament leader or maybe the prime minister and all that. So you can see the graph, like the way they progress. Same is not the case in these southern states. They won't agree they would like to see their hero as the next chief minister whether he or she has the experience or not nobody cares that's the next uh, uh, most important thing why uh, uh, south india has all these regional parties the fourth main reason is what they can do easily is they can basically control the party within that reason pretty easily where they they are not responsible or they are not answerable to anyone anyone else like if you take congress party for example 
if a ruling government has to take a decision they need to go to delhi saying high command can you please tell me what i need to do it if you are just the regional party you don't need to you probably need if some intervention from the central government will probably inform them or just uh, uh, go and meet them for a courtesy uh, call or something by the same time everything will be in your boundary you are not really uh, responsible or answerable to anyone else that basically puts them in a, a good shape because if you look at all these regional parties they understand the way uh, they can maintain the party so they will have their own news channels they don't need permission from anyone else they can get into the film industry and just uh, make sure the complete film industry is just running uh, with their money possible they can get into the um airline business as well start um an airline uh, business and uh, get into that so you don't really need any permission from anyone and you can say my son who is 25 year old or 35 year old trying to uh, destroy sanatan dharma but i can make him chief minister it's fine because people say he is the hero he or she so they can do that that's the fourth reason the fifth main reason is the decision making because they can take quick decisions because everything is in their control the complete state is in their control and then they don't need to uh, go and ask permission from anyone so they can take the decisions pretty quickly so that's another important reason why the southern india because even if the people mindset is always and even the leaders mindset is all all definitely the same everyone wants a quick turnout everyone wants to be a chief minister overnight even the people wants a quick response to their problem overnight everything should be done and dusted in that time nobody has the time or any patience to wait for anything to happen so that's another biggest reason so these are the main reasons behind southern states are still with the regional parties in the next video we will talk about where we are heading towards because now if you see all the corruption challenges which all the regional parties are facing is it good to stick with the regional parties or is it better to have just the central parties we will discuss that in our next um, video please share your views through comments thanks for watching